Hello, I'm Thomas Gondora. And I'm Don Rosetti. Welcome to Pardon the Interruption. Um, we're going to start today with how pitching has seemed to have been dominating Major League Baseball the past several years. Six no-hitters, I believe, were thrown last year, five or six. Two already this year. Perfect game by Rojade last year against the Marlins. And by Dallas Braden. Um, every, like, two weeks or something, someone takes a no-hitter through seven innings or something, you know. And Sally gets broken up by a bloop single. Yeah, it gets broken up by a bloop single. Happen. Last year, just so many people brought, like, no-hitters into the seventh. Um, and it was also talked about a lot when they were pulled. Rich Harden and Kevin Slowey were pulled after six or seven no-hit innings. And the fans got very, very mad, but you gotta admit, I mean, if it pitches up, like, if someone's throwing, like, 100 and, like, five pitches or 110 pitches, you do not want to throw the guy's arms out. I mean, some of these guys are young, taking a no-hitter through the inning, you don't want to throw their arms out. Yes, the fans would love to see that. They would love to see that. But you gotta think about the players. They're not the players. They don't know what these players are going through. They don't know how tired their arm is. The arm could fall off. Um, next topic, staying with baseball, we're going to go with the Hall of Fame. Should Barry Bonds and Pete Rose get in? I say yes for both because Bonds, he was putting up very, very, very good stats, possibly Hall of Fame stats before his miraculous growth spurt. And uh, Pete Rose, a great role model on the field for pretty much everybody. Off the field, he gambled after his career was over. I'm just going to have to disagree with you about Barry Bonds. I mean, he was a small, tiny guy, very skinny with the Pittsburgh Pirates. He stole bases. When he took steroids, his head grew two sizes bigger. And he, he just cheated the whole time. Everybody knew he was cheating, he was taking steroids. He just doesn't deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. He did not go through what Hank Aaron and Babe Ruth did. He, I mean, he took steroids, and those guys did. With Pete Ruth, I agree with you. He should go in the Hall of Fame. Yes, he gambled, but people make mistakes. But 4,000 hits, um, no one's going to do that again. Yeah, I have other things to say about Bonds because maybe he could have put up Hall of Fame stats without steroids, but who knows. Uh, last topic, the designated hitter, should it be kept or dropped? I say keep it. It prolongs careers. And I was watching like a Red Sox game a little while ago. Bobby Jenks came in in the eighth inning, and he messed it up. Um, but they were able to get Pavelbon in there. But if say this was the National League and there was a pitcher hitting and you know Jenks has to stay in the game because we can't have Papelbon hit in the close one like, because not only could he get hurt but he need more offense. I agree with you there. I yeah. mean like Chiming Wong two years ago was pitching 82 record with the Yankees. The Yankees and Nationals at RFK Stadium. Wong hits a ground ball, hurts, pulls a hamstring and pulls a groin and that ended his career and it ended it. Well, actually, from. He did, he's not the same at all, and he has the Orioles, which is Vladimir Guerrero. He can't play the field anymore. You got Dave Ortiz for the Red Sox. We got Mark Teixeira. What if he has like a minor, a minor injury? He can just the age. Yeah, but also I would say I, I believe Wong did that against the Mets, um, and but I didn't get to finish. If like Jank stays in there and blows it, then it would be a perfect excuse to say, well, I couldn't bring in half of one the bigger spot was coming up. I say keep the DH, prolongs careers, it's more exciting. That's it for PTI. We'll be back tomorrow.